Would you like to discover exactly how to use Surf for SEO to boost your rankings, drive more traffic, and get the cheat codes to on-page optimization? Do you want an easy way to outrank your competitors, optimize your content, and do all of this in the most efficient way possible? If so, watch closely people, okay? Because since I started working in SEO, the on-page optimization game has changed massively. At first, it was all about keyword stuffing and producing really long form articles. And then it all got a bit silly. You know, some people were producing like 20,000 or 30,000 word articles that were longer than War and Peace. And then recently I discovered Surf for SEO. And this is basically like getting the cheat codes for on-page optimization, as I'll show you in this video. So you'll learn exactly how I rank number one with this tool and how you can easily do it yourself. And also, I don't know if it's true, but I heard if you smash the like button and subscribe, then it helps you boost your rankings too. I would say that you can't really be a robot when it comes to Surf SEO. So yeah, this is an extremely powerful tool and sure, it helps me rank number one, but at the same time, I'm still creating content that's written for the end user. It's still for a human. And yeah, you can follow the recommendations, but you have to tailor it to make sure that it answers the question and the query and the problem that someone's searching on Google. And when you do that, you can have awesome content, but also it's gonna be optimized for on page two. And that's exactly how to make sure your content ranks higher. All right, so super quickly, this is surferseo.com. This is where you want to sign up if you want to create an account. And this is basically an on-page SEO tool. So it's going to basically teach you exactly how to optimize your page, make it better than competitors, and the reasons why. So it analyzes all your existing competitors, looks at 500 on-page signals, and then tells you exactly what you can optimize to make your content better than competitors so that you can outrank them on Google. And this is the exact tool I used. In fact, I didn't really use any other type of SEO tool except for Surfer SEO when I was ranking for this search term. So that's how easy it is to use. And um, with that, let's jump into the exact steps I used to rank number one using Surfer SEO. And let's get the party started. What we're gonna do is once you've signed up for an account, you're gonna go to the content editor section here. And basically if you outsource your content to a team of writers, this tool is gonna help you so much. So what you need to do is type in your keyword, so for example, SEO, something like that. And then that's gonna generate a content editor for you. And then all I simply did was get my writer to fill in the deets here. So they've written the content, they've covered all the topics that are recommended here, and they've made sure the keyword density is pretty much on point. Now, obviously they weren't like some sort of SEO writing robot, but they stuck to the guidelines and they made sure they hit them. And when you do that, you're gonna get better results. So you can see, right, green ticks, green ticks, green ticks. And, you know, we've covered the headings, the paragraphs, the amount of words that it recommends, targeting this primary search term. And all of these metrics are actually taken from your competitors for this particular keyword. So if we click customize over here, we can see that we're looking at our top five competitors on Google, and then we're running through them, getting all the metrics, and from there, Surfer SEO gives us this beautiful report. Now, the beauty of the content editor is that it's just so damn scalable. So what I did was I gave Surfer SEO access to my virtual assistant. Then my virtual assistant, as you can see on Upwork here, outsourced the article to my writer and my team. And you know, it was a meager $26 to write this article. So it was extremely cheap. In fact, I'd say it was a bloody bargain. And the writer came back with the content, bing bang bosh, filled in on Surfer SEO, and away we were. And from there, what you can do is get your VA to post the content onto your website. And then once your VA has slammed it onto WordPress, it's gonna look something like this. Now, should you be worried? No, I would say you wouldn't be. But anyway, as we scroll down the page, got the table of contents, it's all looking good. We've got some internal links, external links, that sort of thing. And you can see it's just a basic blog article that we've taken from Surfer SEO straight into the blog. Now, how long does it take to get your content ranking with Surfer SEO? Well, this article was created on February the 4th and I'm recording this video in April. So if we type in the keyword over here, then we're gonna see my website ranking at the top. And it really didn't take that long at all. So yeah, Surfer SEO gets very quick results. It's an awesome tool. It means you pretty much don't have to think when you're creating content and it makes a whole process of on-page SEO so damn easy. Now, there's another cool feature on Surfer SEO, which is the SERP Analyzer. So it will basically look at existing articles that are already ranking, and then you can audit your existing page versus people already ranking on the first page of Google. So let's have a look at report I created earlier. You can see this page. As you scroll down, you can compare your website to your competitors. So you can put your URL in here, and then you can check it versus everyone else's. And you can also audit the pages. So you can say, right, this is my page, I need to improve this article. Then you click on audit, and you can see all the things you need to improve on the page. 
and maybe that's backlinks, maybe it's the true density of the amount of keywords you include on the page. You can also scroll through and choose words, numbers, that sort of stuff. And you can have a little play around with the amount of words on the page, the exact keywords, partial keywords. You know, there's a bit of everything there for everyone. And as you scroll down, you've also got the elements, characters. If you see the green tick, it's happy days. If you see the warning signal here, you need to improve it. And if you optimize every single element on the page, then you're gonna be rolling the dice in your favor. Now, obviously, it's not like the gospel of SEO. And it's not gonna guarantee that you rank number one on Google, but at the same time, as you can see in this case study, it does have proven results. It's working extremely well for me. And I'm sure if you try it and you figure out exactly how to use it for your own website, then you're gonna see awesome results. Now, if you're gonna go ahead and use Surf for SEO, here's a little word of warning before you type in the comment section. Oh my God, I use Surf for SEO and it didn't work and it's all your fault, Julian, and my homepage optimization is nailed with Surf for SEO, but I'm still not ranking number one. Why the hell? So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a cheeky like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because my SEO videos are gonna help you drive more traffic, boost your rankings, and help you grow faster as a site.